Good morning. Thanks for clicking on the channel. It's Sunday, 24th of October. Um, I had an inbox from a pal of mine saying he'd recently purchased some crank hooks and he asked me what did I think was the best rig to use with crank hooks. So I'm going to show you how to tie the KD, the short KD rig. Here's the tools you're going to need. Ruler, a pair of scissors, some pulling tools, a stripper tool, hook link of your choice, preferably coated, and a baiting needle. And here's the end tackle you're going to need. Crank hook. An anti-tangle sleeve. Putty. Split shot. And use a split shot. If you want to use a pop-up, I'll come to that in a minute. And... A bait stop of your choice. Let's move on to the next section. So first of all, I'm going to take a pop up and mount it onto the bait the needle. It's important that you put the the bait the hook bit on first get the right length of the hair so that's mounted on first then I take my hook length uh, my hook link of choice using my ruler measure out the 13 inches So 13 inches of hook length. Taking my stripper tool, put it through the hole there. I'm going to take off six inches. So click it down. strip the material off so there's your strip section that's nice and supple now see next you're going to form the loop for the hair using your bait and needle again This makes life a bit easier, this does. It can be quite fiddly. Especially when you're at my age, you know, you say it starts to go. Like so. Let's pull it tight. Just going to tag. Cut the tag end off. These are not the best scissors, by the way. As you can see. Right, next, I'm going to mount my pop up. So, what we're going to do, we're going to fish the pop up, but fish it wafter style. So, pull the loop through. I'm taking a boily stop. Put the body stop through the hoop and pull them tight. That's really important that is to put the bait on first, okay? Well that's a boilie by the way. But we're gonna fish here wafter style, so it's just hovering above the hook. Next you take a split shot and you squeeze it on 
for 5 mil above the hook bit. Make sure. Can you see that? Right. So we take our crank hook. That's a 15 mil pop up. So for a 15 mil, I use a size four. And the good thing about the crank is it's offset. It's offset. Can you see it's slightly offset? That seems to get better hook holes. Crank is a really good hook. Right, so what you do is, set it on the hook. This is where we're going to get our measurement, right? This is why it's called a short crank. So just use it there, so the boily is just brushing the underside of the hook. That's the measurement you want. So here we go. This is why it's called a crank. So once, twice, three, four. Flip the hook bit on the other side. Like that. Turn the hook around. And then whip underneath. One, two, three, four, five. Five times. Back up. Back down to the high of the hook. A little bit tricky. Put it tight. There we go. So can you see the way the hook is aligned? So what happens is it's sitting on the well, let me see if I can show you. Sitting on the bottom of the lake like that, the hook bit is over and above. So when the fish picks the boilie up, see how the hook hangs down? I'm going to put a bit of putty on it to aid that as well. But it hangs down and it nails them in the bottom lip. So we take our putty, and where the join is, put a bit of putty on there like that. Squeeze on, take as long as you want, if you want a good presentation. And I tend to use quite a large lump of putty because it does aid in pulling the hook down. So there's the putty on, okay? So when the fish sucks the bait up, when the fish sucks the bait up, look at that. Can you see how the hook is hanging down? It just, it just catches the bottom lip every time. Every time, so look, picks it up and it's hanging. Look at that, so aggressive, perfect. It almost looks now like a choddy, but it's a pop up fish wafter style. So, the next thing we do is we put our um, anti tangle sleeve on. What I normally do is I trim a little bit off the end just to make life easier. Put the bait and needle in. So I put the anti tank sleeve on the, the bait and needle. Oop, trouble with this tripod. Come to the end. Just tease the anti tangle sleeve down onto the hook link, like so. Pull that down out of the way for now. So, what you do is then you go back to your, your ruler, 
put the eye of the hook on zero and I like to use this rig about six inches so pinch it at six inches pull it over and do a figure of eight loop knot pull it over twist using the bait needle again go through hook the inner loop pull it through just gonna wet moisten the knot with some saliva And use a pulling tool just gonna pull tight using my teeth for the tag end pull tight just gonna trim the tag end off now so it's nice and neat Detangles up the top of the loop. There you go. So that's a pop up. Fish is a wafter. If you wanted to fish just a wafter. You would take the split shot off. Just take the split shot off and just use a wafter. Little mesh bag on there. Perfect. So that's your KD rig. Great little rig this time of year because uh, well, what I tend to do this time of year is I use uh, matcha hatch a lot, you know. We've seen enough of bright colours all through the year, through the summer months and things. So they always tend to go down to um, match the hatch, and this is usually the rig I use, especially with the crank hook. Because that was the original question: what rig would I tie with a crank hook? And there it is, the KD rig. I hope it helps. Yeah. Um, so if you like the like the video, please leave a comment. And uh, if there's anything you would change, or how you set it up, press like and uh, appreciate the subscribe. Thanks very much. See you soon.